Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Transport Fever Sandbox Edition. At the end of the last episode, we were in the middle of sorting out a train issue. Let's get back to it. Yeah, about this. Um, mm. The solution, obviously, is to not have this signal here. Now, you are going to need to go the other direction. Unfortunately, that... forces you onto that... going to be fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, the signals are placed for shorter trains. And now what's happening here? Uh, Waco to Cedar Rapids. Oh. All right, that one is, why are you waiting? Oh, you're waiting, <laughs> you're waiting for this train to go. You're cleared. All right, perfect. You, I am going to want you to go back the other direction though. Because that was the original direction you were going. Is there any way for me to... Not really. No, well, apparently it's dropping off to here. So that is something. And now it's picking up lots of tools. Nice. All right, I might have to rethink this corridor just because, at well, least the signals most likely. Yeah, how about this? Alright, this train, are you, yeah, you're, you're being blocked by that train, and this train is waiting, oh no, never mind, it can go. How are we doing money-wise? Minus 123. Wow. Running cost of 273 million. Income of 209 million. Uh, road running costs, 52 million. Road income, 139 million. Rail income, oh, that's the thing. My ra road, or no, actually no. My rail income was only 478 million last year, or a couple years ago. And it was 400, 
oh no, I was making about a $60 million profit off of the trains. And then in 2011, possibly due to some of the changes I made, and possibly due to all the trains just being jammed up. And unfortunately that is... Oh yeah, about that. Okay, so it gets out of the way. I'm gonna follow this and just make sure that uh, let's turn off some of the actually no we'll turn those off just see if the trains in general are moving. That is flowing. It looks like it's cleared up. We have less trains accumulating in this area, although this train is now waiting for a free path. It's waiting for that train. Or not, it's waiting for Would help if I had signals. Yeah, about that. What are you waiting for? What? Oh, seriously? <sighs> I thought I fixed this. I thought I freaking fixed this. I didn't. All right. Uh, stop. So seven and then nine. Patterson Freight. Does that? Uh, let's see Patterson Freight. Waco South. And then Patterson for eight Chula this machines. Alright, I want this. No, I want this one. Patterson Freight to use platform four. The Patterson Columbus Steel Train, that is its platform. It should not have to wait.
What are you doing? Wrong platform. Wrong freaking platform. You don't get to choose your own adventure. You don't get to choose your own adventure. Point, so now you should. There we go. The reason that's happening is I don't really want to disconnect this because I might want to have something coming in this way. Although with that said, what I will do is I'll make this a one-way signal. That will force traffic to not go in that direction. And so it should effectively prevent any traffic any train that would be driving through from actually using that platform. All right, about that. <laughs> Other than that, it looks like, with the exception of Let's hope there isn't any other thing to mess with that. And this is clear. That is good. Yeah, the problems just accumulate when one train blocks another. And then you have a pile of trains all converging on the same area. Uh, we have this train going in that direction. It is... Waiting for a free path because it's waiting for this one. What are we waiting for? Waiting for that. It's waiting for that. It's waiting for that. On the one hand, we have the signals at the perfect distance, so yeah. And this one is Harrison Columbus waiting for a free path. What are you waiting for? What is your malfunction? for a free path. Oh, is it because... There are no signals. And even though the station has inherent signals for trains in the station, it does not actually have signals for... Yeah, pass through traffic. Although in this case, uh, no, no, no. Okay, never mind. It's it picks up on the way back. Gilbert Seal and then Columbus Freight. going to have that then Gilbert Steele 
Yeah, we are going to have it pick up construction materials. But we are going to do up some signals. Right there. Oh wow, we never... Yeah, there's a lot of signals I am missing. There's a reason why I'm losing money. Downside to having uh, multiple trains running on the same line. Okay, this train is effectively going to block this, so we are going to have to flip this around and we are going to. Yep, yeah, that signal can't be there. I used to have the signal there to prevent the train from going into there or there. Then I added this some time ago but never move the signal. And then we need to flip you around. No, no, no. Flip around. Um, what's going on here? Although with that said, you don't have anything running on you. Uh, all right, go back to to depot. Basically glitched out of the game now. Uh, you, I. Let's have you head back. Let's have you stop and now are you going to go or is this train glitched now? There we go. All right. No, no, no. Don't stop for anything. Um... Let's flip you around. No, 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 we want this one. Now go back the other way. And now you. 
Go back this way. Now, good boy. <laughs> All right about that. Um. And yeah, this has a. Uh... We have basically a ball neck here. And those two trains are going that way. Nice. All right, over here. This sorted itself out. Yes, it did. All right. I keep telling myself I'm going to start a European series and I'm going to set things up properly. <laughs> Alright, uh, losing 132 million. Uh, rail, in or rail income is 229 million. Our, yeah, we're losing money. Big time. Let's head over to here. And see what is happening. Go to charts. Up to a certain amount of capacity. Now, um, this train has picked up 46. Nice. And we do have construction materials sitting here. Although, yeah, it's going to take a while to load up. There is stuff on the... Actually, actually, nice. Yeah, I didn't have this line running. Uh, where's my... We are going to buy another Freightliner Cascadia for the Miramar Conmat. We're going to put another one on the RF Miramar. And actually, we're going to throw two on the RF Cape Crawl to Miramar. Because there is apparently goods going in that way. this thing doing these things blanks and or steel and apparently there is no potential for either what is going on here Fix one train jam and then just get another one. All right, this is Got lots of logs sitting here. You, Palm Bay Lumber. You can't go because of that. You can't go because of this. Okay, you can't go because of this train. And this train is trying to get to... Why... Why are you... Why? What happened to you? Why did you get flipped around? And 
and it is 2014, so now you are waiting for a free path. <sighs> because now you are blocking. Let's send you back the other direction. This doesn't mess up any of the lines that might have been using those as signals. And then you are going good. All right. Now I'm down to, although it's the start of the year, so. Alright, that one's going, and then. That one's going now. And now that one is going. Train waiting there. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of freaking trains waiting to go. It's grabbing logs. going the question how many lines are coming through here uh, we have this one here this one here and this one all right about this what I want to do is upgrade to five tracks tracks and now we are going to want to put this one it up to one of these lines and now we are going to double slip and that will go in like that I want to make sure that these lines actually lock into place. Uh, this is Palm Bay Lumber, so this one... is going to lock into two. Why did that... 
what what was it about locking that into place which brought this over into here why did locking that into place change that one Palm Bay Lumber, or no, Tampa Planks, yep, that, that one has to be that one. Palm Bay Lumber, five, there we go. And you are waiting for Waiting for that to go. We're down to a loss of 21 million, although that is dropping. So we may be good. We may have survived and saved things. Oh, 58 million. End of the month. Alright, so that is a little bit more smoother. That made us a couple million there. Alright, I bet that. Uh, what are you doing? You have no path. see what's going on here there you go yeah I think I double slipped that so it was able to use that so that's it all right Anything else I want to fix? Actually, one thing I'm going to fix, we're going to upgrade this to high speed. Not that I'll ever need it. But if for whatever reason train is flying down here above 120 kilometers an hour, or not, yeah, kilometers an hour, I won't have to worry about it slowing down. So, Jason. Even though as a freight chain, it most likely will not be slowing down or going that fast. And Chula Vista's really, really grown. This is one of our original cities. And, uh... Yep. The 724 million. We're making a profit finally. And what do the charts look like? Uh, they really have to make this bigger. Like this screen is this big, and then you go down to this, and it's like, um, can I have more space? Uh, towns and tracks. So total, and then high speed. This track, this uh, graph is kind of useless. Kind of same thing with this. But yeah, I believe that. Got one train running. Really? It must have jammed up. Otherwise, it's mostly making a profit. How old are you? Uh, details. You are 14 years old. Anything else I want to 
do before we wrap things up. Although with that said, I will probably be splitting this one up into two episodes just because, yeah, it's been over an hour. Although I might just chop out some of the stuff. I'll have to figure out during editing what I'm going to do. Anyway, at this point in time, what I'm going to do is take a break here. We spent an episode basically getting trains moving again and I probably created my own problems so yeah about that anyway thank you for joining me for this episode of transport fever sandbox edition thank you for watching my name is Scott for SB gaming and as always have a good